So recently I saw something on Reddit and I just knew I had to track the item down to show it to you guys. These earbuds are wired, but they require a Bluetooth connection to use them. I know that's a little confusing, but they, they really aren't wireless. They plug into your phone to charge, but they send all of the audio over Bluetooth. It's weird. I know. I spent a lot of time looking for these. On the Reddit post, they mentioned finding it at like a Walgreens. So I went all over town. I went to three different dollar stores, two Walgreens, a CVS. I even checked AliExpress and Timu. The issue was none of them were cheap enough to sell earbuds like this. Well, maybe AliExpress and Timu, but the issue is this isn't a feature. It's really more of a trick for them to get away from having to pay Apple's tax to use the lightning port. And because of that, most like online postings for really cheap earbuds didn't advertise that they had this feature because it's not really a feature. They just advertise themselves as wired earbuds and that made them really, really hard to track down. Finally, after spending literally hours looking for these and even reading tons of reviews to see if anyone just happened to mention that they're supposedly wired earbuds required a Bluetooth connection to start the process, I found them. And I found them on the TikTok shop of all places. So what's up with these earbuds? Let's find out. Hey guys, how's it going? My name's Grayson, this is Tech With Me, and apparently it's cheaper to make Bluetooth earbuds than it is to make your earbuds lightning certified or Apple certified in the first place. That's crazy. I spent exactly $2.86 on these earbuds from the TikTok shop and they're really weird. It's not just earbuds that seem to do this either. I spent hours online researching this stuff to try to figure out what was going on with them and I saw earbuds, posts about lightning to 3.5 adapters, like all types of adapters that plug into lightning that are meant to like transmit audio and a lot of them require Bluetooth. At least on the cheaper side. According to a Redditor, in order for something to use the lightning port to transmit data, it requires a special chip from Apple with a code that links it to being Apple certified. Apparently this chip is kind of expensive, or at least it's expensive compared to the $2 earbuds they're trying to sell. It seems like these earbuds plug into the lightning port and is able to like siphon the power to keep them charged. But as far as transmitting the audio and all that goes, they use Bluetooth to do that. So they are wired. You do have to have them plugged in at all times to use them because otherwise they don't hold a charge. They don't have a battery in them, but you have to connect the Bluetooth to send over the audio. And as I stated earlier, a lot of brands that are making earbuds like this aren't advertising that it needs Bluetooth to use them. Like I said, that made it really hard for me to find them but honestly, most people who are buying these are kind of getting scammed or maybe not scammed, but they're not being told what the item is. Most people aren't searching them out like I was. And yeah, there are a ton of posts online of people like confused at what they bought because they weren't aware until they got home and tried to use them. For example, there's this post on Reddit that I found where the poster believes that their phone is confusing wired earbuds for Bluetooth earbuds. And I don't, think that's the case. I think the phone is right and they just bought an ultra cheap pair of knockoff earbuds. In this case, the poster stated that they prefer wired earbuds because there's less latency involved, but honestly with the ones they got, I don't think they're getting away from that. I even found posts online where people were asking Apple for support because their earbuds were acting funny because they thought they got an authentic pair of Apple earpods and they didn't. They got some just like these. And they were really confused because it kept asking for Bluetooth pairing, which rightfully so. I would be too if I didn't know what I got. Of course, most people aren't going this cheap for earbuds. I think most people who walked into the store and they saw $2.86 earbuds on the shelf or even $5 earbuds would know to steer away or would at least think there's no way that's a good deal. There's gotta be a catch. And usually there is. So how good are these earbuds actually? I guess we're gonna have to plug them in, try them and find out. So I had to grab my girlfriend's iPhone for this next part because my phone doesn't actually have lightning in it anymore. The iPhone 15 switched to USB-C and 
honestly, she needs a little bit of an update. Here they are. The earbuds honestly feel really cheap, and I find it really interesting that it popped up as Beats when we plugged it in. So they have to have some type of chip in them, I would think, for the phone to see them as like an Apple product, because it did like the Apple pairing thing, which I thought was kind of neat. But maybe they don't have to have a chip for that. Maybe it's just a trick to your phone. I don't know, but these definitely aren't Beats. Let's see how they sound. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and say it. These are probably about the worst earbuds I have ever used. I immediately can tell that there's no low end and you can't even turn the volume up on them. I don't even think the left earbud is working. No, it is. It's just significantly quieter than the right earbud. I mean, for $2.86, what would you expect? I didn't expect them to be good, but this is like, immediately bad it sounds like i'm listening to earbuds through it sounds like when you use the megaphone filter on your voice like online and stuff and they're just playing music through there i mean they're usable but they're not clear it almost sounds like you're running the music through a guitar amp it sounds like when you're playing call of duty on xbox live and somebody's playing music on their phone speaker and you're hearing it through their gaming headset that is straight up what these earbuds sound like, and they're really uncomfortable to wear too. I mean, I've never been a big fan of the base level AirPods or the like ear pods, the wired versions without like the silicone tip, but these are way more uncomfortable than that even, and they don't stay in well. This part on this song doesn't actually sound so bad, but it's a heavily distorted guitar amp, so it just sounds more distorted. So if the question is even for $2.86, would I recommend these? The answer is absolutely not. They sound terrible. And honestly, there's probably two things that go into it sounding bad. I remember back in the day before AirPods blew up and everybody started making Bluetooth earbuds. Before Bluetooth earbuds were really like a good option for audio, or at least a decent one, some really cheap, and cheap as in like 20, 25 to $50 earbuds. Back then, Bluetooth earbuds could be really expensive. They still can, but you can get good budget ones now. But back then, like you would use Bluetooth and they would sound really bad because the form of Bluetooth we had back then couldn't transmit audio as well. I almost feel like these are using like that older version of Bluetooth because they don't sound great. But also, they're $2 earbuds, so the sound drivers are also not so phenomenal. So there's like two things that are going into them and just even for three bucks, not worth it even a little bit. Save your money, get you some like $25 J-Labs that are truly wireless. They're really good and their battery life is stellar for like 25, 30 bucks. Hold off just a little bit because these are not great. I do really think that it's interesting that the lightning chip to be able to transmit data. It's more expensive than it is to make a Bluetooth earbud. That is really cool to think about, but also kind of crazy. But what do you guys think? Would you guys get these earbuds? I really, really hope not. I, I really hope that you think more of yourself than somebody who should use $2.86 earbuds. But you know, if that's all you can afford, would you get them or would you save your money? Let me know down below what you guys think about these earbuds and what you guys think about the fact that it's cheaper to make Bluetooth earbuds than it is to do the lightning connection. That is honestly the craziest part of why I wanted to make this video. Have y'all ever owned a product like this or have you ever seen one? Like I said, just let me know down below. I really wanna hear from you guys. Anyway, my name is Grayson. This has been Tech With Me. Thank you very, very kindly for watching.